Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be going over how to set up a text magic account. Now, text magic is um, a program that allows you to text from your computer, from your phone, but you get to choose the number and you can do bulk texting and scheduled texting. Um, it's just a very, uh, if you scroll down here, this is what the inside will look like. It's a very comprehensive texting software that we use to text. Uh, potential sellers. So uh, if you want to go to textmagic.com, you'll see up here, textmagic.com, uh, you'll come to this page. So this is their homepage. If you want to look around, you can. Um, if you want to look at the pricing, uh, we could do that real quick. It's super, super cheap. It's only um, $4 for a number. Each month, each month you pay four dollars for the number. You see over here, uh, the first month is included in your free trial. After what, after which, the number is four dollars per month, and then each text you send out is 0 0.04 cents per text. Uh, just to put that in kind of a, a more comprehensive ling uh, language, we kind of put about twenty-five dollars every couple months into the account. I would say every every other month we put about $25 into the account and that handles the texting that we do uh, almost pretty much daily. Uh, so that's the pricing. It's very affordable, uh, especially for what you get from it. So going to textmagic.com, I'm going to click on start a free trial. And I'm going to put in Bill's information. Um, and I set up an email for this. So, uh, sorry, just typing real quick. You'll see here, uh, it says, please use your corporate or work email in case you do not have a corporate or work email. You need to verify your D ID after your first order. What this basically means is if you own a domain and you own a website that you can get an email from, that's preferred. If you don't have that, that's perfectly fine. You still can use the software. Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to make your account with your Gmail or your Yahoo or your AOL, whatever email you have. You're going to make it with that email. And then you will, uh, I believe it's after you purchase your first package or your first number, they contact you and they basically set you up with the software, which, uh, full disclaimer, I haven't used, I haven't had to do this. This is all from uh, clients that we've had that have used the software, have told me this is how it happens. So I'm not 100% sure, but this is what they've told me happens is they get some sort of an email uh, with a program or a third party that seems kind of sketchy, but is definitely legitimate. Uh, that basically you get on a video call with this company and you basically they'll take a picture of you through the the webcam and then you hold up your license and they take a picture of that the front and the back i believe uh so this can be done as long as you have it can be done through your phone it can be done through a computer that has a webcam you basically need something that connects to the internet that has a webcam uh to do that i've been told it's very very simple very very quick uh I've been told it's, it could be within a couple hours of you setting up your account. It could be a couple of minutes. It could be a couple of days. Uh, the most common one I've heard is within a couple of minutes of you setting up your account and purchasing that number, they'll uh, try to get into contact with you to verify your ID. This is basically so uh, people don't come in here and spam the service because it is such a, a fantastic service. They don't want their servers clogged up with uh, spam. Uh, so that's the caveat on the email. Uh, I'm just using one of the emails from our website, flippinghousesforkies.com. I set up an email for this. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use. But like I said, uh, you can use the Gmail. You just have to do that extra step where you do verify your uh, ID. So we are in the United States, and I'm going to go to uh, create my free business account. So you'll see down here, you could also sign up with your Google or your Microsoft account. Create my free business account. So at this point, it wants me to go into the email because I used a uh, corporate email, quote unquote, a business email. Uh, they want me to verify that. So I'm going to come up here. I have it open. I'm just using uh, webmail. So you'll see, please verify your email from TextMagic Support. So I'm going to click into that. So it comes from support at textmagic.com if you're looking for it in your email. At this point, I'm just going to click on verify my email address. 
Now, important, super important, you want a local number. You do not want a toll-free number. People don't answer toll-free numbers. They find them sketchy. They don't want to have anything to do with them. So you definitely, definitely, definitely want a local number. So I'm going to select that. Wait for this to load a little bit. Come on. There we go. So we want a number from the uh, United States. You're going to choose your area code. Uh, it's specific to your region. For us, we do either a 203 or an 860. You'll see here, those are uh, the Connecticut numbers, but you'll know your you have phone numbers, you know which area code is good for your area. If you are buying outside of your area, so say if you're like we've been by, looking to buy in Florida, we might set up a separate TextMetric account with that area code. So just Google or ask around um, for the area code that's the most common in that area. But we want this to seem as local as possible. So we just want that local number with the local area code. Now, um, when it comes to the number as a personal preference thing, um, what we do, which you don't have to do at all, but we like numbers that repeat. So like you'll see all of these that are the 533, three, those are good numbers. And then down here, let's see what we got. This is an 8551, that's a, an okay number. We just like pretty numbers that repeat themselves that are easy to remember. So like this is a good one, 5338806. The reason we like that is um, if we ever wanna put this number on a sign or something like that, we want it to be able to be memorable. Uh, so the more repeating numbers, the better, uh, just for that sake, but it's not strictly necessary. You just pick a number that you think looks nice. Um, this is also a nice one. Actually, I might go with this one. 6600174 or this one. Yeah, I like this one. We'll go with that. Um, you do want to enable, to enable call forwarding. I would highly suggest enabling call forwarding. So basically what happens is so you text a person. They see that came from whatever number you just chose. They want to call you. So they're going to call that number and you want that number to go somewhere that you can answer it. Uh, whether that's your cell phone, whether that's a work number, whether that's a Google Voice number, wherever you want those messages or those calls to go, you're going to put that in. So I'm just going to put it in our, um, why can't I think of the word? Office number. <laughs> uh, 9286, nine, I believe that's what it is. Something along those lines. Don't call that number. I don't know if that's exactly our office number. I think I'm one digit off. But uh, you'll see here, forward calls, they will uh, charge you for that. But it, it's not a lot. And we'll hit next. So um, at this point, what I would have you do, now I'm not going to go through with this because we're never going to use this account again, but at this point, I would suggest coming down here to buy SMS credit. Um, we want to put some money into this account so that you can send out some messages. So I would click here, buy SMS credit. Um, and then you're going to choose how much you want to put in there. We put like 20 bucks at a time. You're going to add your credit card to your PayPal. Uh, you're going to fill out your billing details, all of this, and then you're going to come down here. Now, again, this is not strictly necessary, but I would highly, 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 highly suggest enabling auto recharge. So basically what that means is when it gets, you can read right here, when your account balance falls below 10, their billing system would automatically recharge with uh, from this that you set up up here automatically adding $20 to the account. This basically means if you are doing a bulk text message, don't think to check your balance and you only have like 10 cents left and you send out 50 texts. Instead of just getting an error, it'll just automatically recharge. You'll always have money in there uh, and you don't ever have to worry about there being errors or anything like that. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this is this is where that $4 charge a month comes from, is from your account.
So uh, say that you don't pay, you have a VA working on in the account or you hire somebody else to work in the account and they're not paying attention to the amount and the end of the month runs a ro rolls around and you only have a dollar in the account, you could lose your phone number, which you might have used in promotional materials. So we want to make sure to hold on to that phone number, which means you need to have at least $4 in that account every month. Uh, so by having this auto recharge on, you never have to worry about that because there's always going to be at least $10 in the system to pay for that number and you'll never lose it. The reason I mention that is that has happened to us. We did not have this auto recharge enabled and we have lost a phone number before that was on a decent amount of promotional material and it sucked. So uh, I would really suggest doing this. It's $20. It's not like it's auto charging $100 per month. So I would highly suggest it. Um, at this point, once you hit that pay now button, um, it will bring you back to the page I'm going to go to right now, which is the main page of Text Magic. So if I go up to my account, it's going to bring you into the inside of the the system and the software. So this is where you'll end up after you hit that buy now button. Um, and that's the account setup. I mean, you can come in here, you'll see that your services are over here. So if you want to buy a new number or if you want to do um, coming into your account, you can do your auto recharge, any notifications. I'll leave those settings up to you. There's not a lot of them. Uh, but just go through, make sure everything's set up the way you want. And uh, that's pretty much the setup of the account. In the next video, we're going to be going over some more usage stuff. So I'll see you there.